Jarang loh ya saya menyapa Anda dalam program The Leader Dan sampai jam 9 nanti Saya sudah kehadiran narasumber kami ya Dari Smile Trend President and CEO Susana Zever Is it right? Schaefer is how it's Schaefer. Okay I'm sorry if I'm, uh, if I'm mistaken um, Kita akan berbincang-bincang malam hari ini Dengan narasumber kami Ya, dari organisasi non-profit dengan fokus pada operasi bibir sumbing Dan mereka tergabung dalam Smile Train Yang sudah menangani operasi ke-75 ribu di Indonesia Wow, ini banyak sekali ya Dan selengkapnya, kita akan langsung berbincang bersama Smile Train President and CEO Susana Dan saya akan langsung menyapa beliau Hai Susana, how are you? I'm well. Good morning. Thank you for having me today. Yes, and of course we're glad to see you tonight uh, because we want to talk about the um, small train itself. Yeah, the one of the profit non-profit organization, especially. Can you tell us uh, and listeners about your activities here in Indonesia? Sure. So Smile Train globally is the world's uh, leading cleft charity. Uh, we were established in 1999, and since inception, we've helped over one million children around the world uh, mm -hmm. with untreated clefts. Mm -hmm. And here in Indonesia, um, we started working directly in the country in 2002. Mm -hmm. um, we will be celebrating, in fact, uh, this weekend, we're celebrating our 75,000th uh, life-changing surgery for an Indonesian child. Uh, who had untreated cleft. So uh, this is a, a wonderful mm -hmm. milestone for us here in Indonesia and for Smile Train globally. So we're very, very excited. And I'm thrilled uh, to mm -hmm. be in Jakarta for this incredible celebration. Wow. And uh, I really wonder uh, about, is it only for a child or um, you do the surgery also for a smile train, especially yeah, do surgery for the man or woman well, or parents? Sure, our programs are mostly focused on children. Okay. Um, because um, we want to find children with untreated cleft as young as possible so that um, we can help with the 100% free surgery and, and okay. set them off on, on a course of life that would be full and productive. Um, however, we would never turn a patient away uh, that would present themselves at one of our partner hospitals mm -hmm. around Indonesia. Um, and in fact, um, I was in Ambarawa uh, for the last couple of days okay. and uh, was visiting one of our partner hospitals there and mm -hmm. we were having an outreach um, and raising awareness for cleft and bringing patients in. Uh, who were throughout the region uh, in Indonesia who yeah. needed uh, support. And one of the patients that uh, appeared was a 58-year-old woman who was living with an untreated cleft lip. Mm -hmm. um, so we were able to uh, provide her with uh, the surgery that she needed, and, mm -hmm. and now she will continue on with a life but more fulfilled. Wow, oh, oke. Okay. Dan pendengar terijaya, dalam perbincangan kami ini, saya jangan juga lupa nih untuk bisa me mengajak Anda berinteraksi silakan melalui nomor telepon di 081231111046 untuk nanti bertanya-tanya dengan Susana bagaimana sebetulnya Smile Train ini ya berkiprah di Indonesia dan tadi sudah disampaikan ada 75.000 anak yang sudah terbantu untuk melakukan operasi bibir sumbing dan ini berita sangat luar biasa menurut saya karena ini mereka dari kalangan yang tidak mampu dan mereka sangat terbantu dan could you explain more detail about Smile Train itself as a non-profit organization international non-profit organization sure so our goal is um, to help any child anyone who is living not only in Indonesia cleft. right correct mm -hmm. um, we're working in over 85 countries around the world mm -hmm. Um, our goal is to provide anyone with untreated cleft with safe and quality cleft care. Um, and it's not only the surgical component to our work, um, it's also um, us being able to provide a full comprehensive care, um, uh, cleft care for uh, patients and their families. Mm -hmm. um, many times a cleft is 
um, not just a cosmetic issue. Um, children who are born with cleft yeah. um, have difficulties um, eating and mm -hmm. speaking. Uh, so our full comprehensive care programs can help children um, pre-surgically and after surgery. Uh, so we're very happy to be able to provide all of this care um, for patients throughout the world. Okay. Um, Susie, um, we want to take a break uh, for a moment. Is it fine for you, right? <laughs> And Penegara Trijaya, kita akan lanjutkan lagi perbincangan bersama Susi, selaku Presiden dan juga CEO Smile Train. Dan jika Anda ingin bertanya-tanya seputar uh, Smile Train itu sendiri, silahkan ke 0812-111-1046. Selepas yang satu ini, kita akan kembali lagi. Itu, itu, enggak, itu kan enggak apa-apa kan ya? Oh, Oke, okay. terus. Um, Kak, ini aku boleh tanya enggak sih yang why do you choose three word ini maksudnya apa ya? Ini, kalau bisa misalnya, gambarkan tiga kata tentang smart train. Oh, oke. Okay. Sebenarnya ini alasannya di, di sebuah bis break, tapi enggak apa-apa. Oh, iya. Okay. Tiga, tiga kata dan alasannya. Oke. Okay. Sip. Sekarang berarti yeah. masuk sesi kedua ya, Kak? Ya. Yeah. Oke. Okay. Let's we continue our talk show. Dengar Trijaya masih dengan Riri Arta Kusuma dalam program The Leader. Dan kali ini kita masih akan berbincang-bincang dengan Susana, President and CEO Smile Train. Nah, ini Smile Train ini adalah salah satu international non-profit organization di mana mereka sudah banyak membantu untuk pengobatan atau juga operasi dari bibir sumbing anak-anak di Indonesia terutama dan ini sangat uh, membantu masyarakat Indonesia terutama dari kalangan yang tidak mampu and then now I will ask you about um, the collaboration it's quite challenging I think uh, for you and for the smile train itself and then how you can do the collaboration with the Indonesia um, government, maybe? Mm -hmm. Can you tell us? Sure. So, you know, our work is, so much of our work is just about raising awareness mm -hmm. for cleft um, and making sure that uh, families who have children who are born with cleft and might not understand why, why their child was born yeah. the way that they were. Why do they have this spatial difference? Um, what did I do wrong? There are many stigmas um, that parents can be feeling being uneducated about what cleft is, um, that it is the most common facial mm -hmm. birth difference um, that affects uh, babies being born. So mm -hmm. it can affect one in 700 births. Um, so 100, one in 700 uh, babies are born around the world with cleft. Um, so it's common, but mm -hmm. when there's a lack of education and a lack of awareness of what cleft is, um, patients and their families think that there is no hope. Um, so, so much of our work that we do is, is about raising awareness for cleft and that cleft education. Um, so partnership is, is so critical to our work, um, for the success of our work. So being able to work with, um, for instance, with the Army here in Indonesia, it's helping with that awareness component to our work. Um, working with them is also helping with mobilization, which is another big challenge for us, um, especially in a country like Indonesia, which is an archipelago of yeah. islands. Um, how can we find children with untreated cleft in outlying areas um, and making sure that there's the awareness there for the fact that there's help, that there is a smile train that can provide them with the, the free surgery that's mm -hmm. needed. Um, and then being able to transport them to our partner hospitals, um, and especially in those outlying island areas where there are no hospitals, they would need to come to um, one of our uh, partner hospital locations. Mm -hmm. um, so these types of collaborations are just critical to the success of our work and the partnership that we've had yeah. um, with the government and the Army has, has been tremendous for us. Um, we started working with them about three years ago. Oh, okay. And since that time, we have been able to uh, mobilize and help uh, over 10,000 children in Indonesia living with untreated cleft. 
Okay. So we're we're very proud of that. Um, I met with um, and we truly some leaders from the about army it. yesterday, yes. and they're very proud of that. So I think that's what's so inspiring, just so motivating to um, both organizations to have this collaboration. Yes. Um, and just know that um, we're helping in this area. So it was it was wonderful to be with the army yesterday yes. to celebrate <laughs> their seventy third anniversary, yeah, yeah. and then. Um, they're joining us uh, to celebrate uh, the success of our programs and then reaching this milestone yeah. of 75,000 okay. children being helped in wow. Indonesia. Wow, a great experience, right. And Susie, um, uh, I want to know more detail about Indonesian awareness especially mm -hmm. for Indonesian, in Indonesian society. What do you think about Indonesian society, especially uh, awareness, about the CLAF. I want to know how the Indonesian awareness about this globally. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think Indonesia is is one area where, um, you know, in our global program, you know, you might see similarities um, mm -hmm. between different countries um, because the one commonality is the CLAF. So, mm -hmm. I mean, the CLAF is the same no matter where you are in the mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. Um, that lack of maybe understanding as to why my child uh, was born okay. this way okay. is also a commonality. Yeah. So um, earlier I talked about stigma. Um, you have to think about these parents um, having a child that's born with a cleft and thinking that there's no hope. Um, thinking, you know, how is my child going to go through life um, looking the way that they do? Um, it doesn't make them feel differently about their child. Yeah. They love their child, but they just want to help their child um, mm. because they're thinking ahead and how is, well, what if they can't go to school and what if they can't find a job? Um, because so much is that facial, you know, it's that, that first interaction you have with another person. Um, and that's why, you know, so many of our patients, um, when you hear their stories, they're, you know, living in isolation many times. The parents mm. hide the children away. Mm. Um, as much as they love them, they might feel people might view their child indifferently. Um, so it can affect communities at large um, when you think of some of these smaller outlying areas. Um, so I think there's that there's always that commonality no matter where you are in the world um, with what cleft is, except in the more developing countries where there yeah. are um, healthcare systems um, that can help children uh, at young ages. And we just, we don't see that um, in some of these developing countries. And that's where Smile Train's work is just so critical and important. Um, and we have a committed team, um, and you heard me talk exactly. about partnership, yeah. um, and how these types of collaborations just, just help, and it helps, you know, with that awareness and just making sure uh, that uh, mm, um, mm. we're getting the word out. And that's so much of what our work mm, is. Mm. Um, but then there's, of course, the empowering part of our work, yeah. um, which is empowering local medical professionals uh, uh, to take uh, care of okay. children in their own yeah. communities. So we're not flying doctors um, from the US, which is where I'm from. I'm from mm. New York. Uh, we're not flying surgeons to come to Indonesia to yeah. operate on children. We're training local surgeons. Oh, good. Helping doctors good. here in Indonesia train more surgeons. Okay. Um, so we've seen the success of our program. That, you know, our, our goal is to empower. Okay. Um, and it's to provide the funding and resources to local medical professionals. Mm -hmm. um, safety and quality is very important to our work. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we want, you know, our programs to adhere to that, um, and so we've, you know, over time have built this incredible yeah. uh, network and, and uh, collaboration with doctors here in yeah. Indonesia um, wow. for our club programs. Okay, this is more powerful and it could be sustainable, I think, for the Indonesia, for the doctor especially, to do uh, the surgery for the cleft people, right, or cleft child. Yes. Okay. Uh, Susie, 
Kita akan lanjutkan lagi um, pendengar Trijaya untuk perbincangan kita bersama Susi ya seputar The Leader dalam program The Leader ini dan silakan sekali lagi di 081231146 ya. Dan we check a break first. Dan pendengar Trijaya selepas yang satu ini kami masih akan segera kembali. Bisa lanjut lagi kan? Oke. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were talking to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's why I saw your face. <laughs> okay, so we have two sessions more ahead. Okay. Um, so we can talk about uh, Smile Train program in Indonesia, and then uh, you can share with us an uh, unforget unforgettable moment in Indonesia, especially in Ambarawa. Yeah, yeah. yesterday, yes. you can tell us. A lot about that. Okay. Pendengar TJ kembali lagi bersama Riri Arta Kusuma. Nampaknya memang kalau saat ini ya, malam-malam apa lagi. Dan kondisinya, cuacanya hujan, makanya hostnya agak-agak sumbang-sumbang gimana gitu nih ya, malam hari ini. Tapi tetap semangat karena saya juga terinspirasi hari ini mendengar bagaimana kawan-kawan kita di Smile Train dan kemudian uh, diinisiasi oleh Susi ya, men- mengadakan satu program Ya, itu melakukan operasi bagi anak-anak bibir sumbing terutama ya ini dan satu prestasi dan bagaimana tadi kita mendengarkan kolaborasi yang dilakukan oleh kawan-kawan dari Small Train bersama rekan-rekan dokter kemudian para army ya tentara di Indonesia ini sangat luar biasa challenging tapi mereka tampak begitu bahagia tidak ada keluhan yang uh, Nampak saya lihat terutama juga dari Susi begitu bahagianya Karena dibilang ini adalah satu hal yang memang kayak jadi visi misi dari Small Train itu sendiri Untuk membantu terutama anak-anak di seluruh dunia dan kali ini untuk anak-anak di Indonesia And could you share with us um, your unforgettable moment in Ambarawa yesterday? Please Oh, there were many um, oh, Oke okay. I... love nothing more than having the opportunity to visit our uh, local partner hospitals and local partner surgeons in action. Um, so I had this wonderful opportunity uh, the last couple of days to be in Ambarawa and uh, visit one of our partner hospitals uh, and see quite a few of our surgeons um, who are in Indonesia and empowered by Smile Train. Mm-hmm. Um, to help children with clefts. So in the last couple of days, um, they were able, through our partnership with the Army, to mobilize 200 patients um, to partner hospitals over the course of a few days. Um, the partner that I was visiting yesterday was operating on, over a few days, sorry, was operating on 60 patients. Oh, um, so there's I had, a lot. Yes. Yes, and so I had the opportunity um, to be in the operating room, yeah. um, and just seeing, um, which I just think is so powerful, uh, the teams that come together to help With the commitment. children. So you're talking surgeons, you're talking yeah. nurses, you're talking uh, anesthetists. Um, it's just, it's so motivating and and it's so inspirational to see that we have empowered this um and for me coming all the way from new york um this is the first time i've actually visited our programs in action in indonesia okay um, so to just see these doctors many of whom i've known over the years because i've seen them at club conferences and and have met them in the past but i've never seen them doing their work and, and doing their using their skill to actually help others and see them in action. Um, I, I get very emotional when I see it all come together on the back end because, you know, I'm just a, a witness. I'm not I'm not a doctor. <laughs> um, I'm not a nurse. Yeah. I'm not an anesthetist. Yeah. Well. Um, but I know that our work is, is incredible. And, yes, and there's of something course. so special and sure. important to it. Um, so when I... have those moments where I'm in the operating room and I see this team come together, it, I, I get emotional myself. It, oh, it's, it's very overwhelming for me mm-hmm. because I'm just standing there on the side watching and I'm, I'm just know that I had a small part in making this happen. Mm-hmm. Um, so when you see the patients um, 
you know, the children, they come in, and, you know, it, there were quite a few children that were not infants. They were, you know, in that 5 to even 12-year-old mm -hmm. range yesterday, and then I mentioned the 58-year-old the woman. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, I, I, I just, I have children. I can't think what that this all must be like mm -hmm. for them. There's sure a level of fear because they're going to be having surgery, but mm -hmm. also that opportunity to know that, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, I imagine is, life is going to change. Yes, yes. I imagine me. they're so happy. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when you're in the ward afterwards with the parents and they see their child yeah. for the first time mm -hmm. after that life-changing surgery, yes. yeah. it, it's just incredibly, incredibly emotional. Oh. Okay. Um, so it makes you feel really good about what you do, and and to see the our partner surgeons that you know they're they are feeling the same thing, and you know everybody's a part of this. So it's our our smile trained family is just a wonderful group of committed yeah. people who yes. just want to help. Mm. Okay. I can feel that how <laughs> you are so feel greatness about this. Um, and I would like to ask you about the fundraising, actually. How does small train at the fundraising itself? Well, fundraising is, is an important part of what we do. Um, mm -hmm. That's a level of awareness. Um, so raising awareness for CLEFT, raising awareness for mm -hmm. small train. Um, because we're a nonprofit, um, yeah, you know we're raising funding so that we can. We're raising funding in the U.S. We're, we're actually raising funding globally. We even raise okay. funding in Indonesia, oh. um, where people in Indonesia can help children in their own community, which is okay. which is also amazing mm -hmm. that we're at mm -hmm. this this point in our work mm -hmm. that we can do that. Mm -hmm. um, but the majority of our funding does come from the United States. Um, and it's smile train raising awareness mm -hmm. for class raising awareness for our programs okay um, and the work that we do um, and then being able to send that funding here to Indonesia so that we can help the over 8,000 children we help per year mm -hmm. okay. um, and we can provide our partner hospitals the funding and resources that they need so that they can have safe and quality club programs Okay. Um, we're funding the cost of the surgery. Um, we're funding the cost of the comprehensive care um, that's needed uh, for for the children. But primarily, it's it's that surgical component here in Indonesia. Okay. Um, so see, we can uh, talk later. Then we have to break again. And pendengar Trijaya, kita akan lanjut lagi perbincangan saya bersama Susi selaku presiden dan juga CEO dari Small Train. Dan kalau Anda ingin berinteraksi dengan beliau, waktu kita masih ada satu sesi lagi di 081231046. Selepas jeda berikut ini kami masih akan segera kembali. Okay. So, ini yang terakhir uh, so this is the last session. Mm -hmm. uh, you can share with us about the uh, anything about information about uh, small train, especially for the website, yep. um, the link, and then how but the. But we only want me to talk about Facebook and not the website, correct? Yes. Yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. Of course, yeah. sure. Uh, Just to say, whoever might needs help. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Because I think there's a lot of uh, people there that information like this. Yes. Okay. The last session. Pendengar Trijaya masih dengan Riri Artakusuma dan saya masih akan melanjutkan perbincangan bersama Susi selaku presiden dan juga CEO Smile Train Indonesia dan tadi sudah Anda dengarkan bagaimana beliau menyampaikan di sesi ketiga untuk mendapatkan fundraising itu sendiri dan memang ini challenging banget terutama juga di Indonesia gitu ya bagaimana bukan cuma soal daerahnya tapi bagaimana mengakses ya mengakses untuk mendapatkan uh, informasi terutama mereka-mereka yang ada di remote area gitu ya tadi ya dan juga bagaimana melakukan fundraising itu sendiri tapi memang ini secara global dilakukan fundraisingnya betul oke okay. pendengar Trijaya 
kita akan lanjut lagi kita akan tanyakan lagi kepada Susi Susi what are you looking for to the museum 2019 well we want to help as many children here yes. in Indonesia as mm. possible um, and so I thank you for this opportunity um, to, yeah. speak to your listeners My pleasure. Um, because this is a huge part of us you know with with the awareness piece mm -hmm. and so it's a huge part to have this opportunity um, to help us get the word out mm -hmm. um, and for anyone that has maybe seen a child with cleft or knows a family who has a child with cleft um, or who's seeking out help for their own child um, we have a Facebook page here okay. in Indonesia it's Smile Train Indonesia you can find us on Facebook um, we have a wonderful team um, of three here in Indonesia that make up the Smile Train Indonesia team mm. um, that can help direct any parent um, that is looking for help for their child. Um, mm. We have over uh, 85 partner hospitals that we're working here uh, with in Indonesia, um, and our staff can you know, answer any questions and direct a family to one of our uh, partner hospitals. Oke, okay. jadi pendengar Trijaya kalau misalkan Anda juga ingin langsung mengetahui lebih jelas lagi soal uh, Smile Train ini, Anda bisa ke fan page uh, Facebooknya gitu ya, ke Smile Train Indonesia atau ini ada Twitternya, saya langsung aja deh lihat di kartu nama I see from your name card. <laughs> And then at Smile Train ID dan juga Instagramnya at Smile Train Indonesia. Barangkali ini bisa membantu uh, Anda untuk mendapatkan akses informasi mengenai kiprah dari Smile Train Indonesia dan bagaimana ketika Anda atau siapapun di sekitar Anda membutuhkan uh, bantuan untuk pengobatan dari surgery dari bibir sumbing ini gitu ya dan informasi segala sesuatunya tentang uh, live clip ini. Dan pendengar Trijaya uh, masih di 0812 sekarang yang saya ingin tanya now um, what inspire and motivates you to do most <laughs> uh, making a difference um, paying it forward yep um, helping someone that might feel they have no other chance um, and just keeping our programs going strong um, I want to see nothing more than um, our partner hospitals and our partner surgeons and mm -hmm. um, you know being successful and, and feeling that uh, you know con smile train is continuing to support them um, so that they can build sustainable cleft programs um, and help children in their own communities um, our goal and our vision for smile train is uh, for every one of our programs around the world to be fully sustainable um, to making sure that Every cleft child, no matter where they are, has the opportunity to live a full and productive life. And we're not going to stop doing our work and, until we've done that. So mm. um, there are many, many children all around the world uh, that still need help. There are many children here in Indonesia. Um, there's still a backlog here. Um, this is a massively uh, large country and a massively large yeah. populated country. Mm -hmm. um, and so when you think of the incidence of cleft, we know that there are children still out there and mm -hmm. we want to make sure we help each and every one. Wow, hopefully. And then success for a small train Indonesia team and then globally team, uh, success for a small train. And thank you for helping Indonesian child who has a cliff lip. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Susi, thank you so much for coming. Hope you enjoy in Indonesia. <laughs> And then thank you, Small Train, uh, to share with us about your experience and team, about how Small Train contribute in Indonesia. Thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you. Thank you for Pendengar Trijaya, terima kasih atas kebersamaan Anda. Demikian tadi perbincangan saya bersama Susana, selaku Presiden and CEO Small Train uh, Global. Dan juga... Terima kasih atas kebersamaan Anda. Waktunya saya pamit undur diri. Sekali lagi, ada yang perlu saya sampaikan sebaik-baik manusia adalah yang bermanfaat bagi orang lain. Terima kasih. Selamat malam. Thank you. Thank you, Mbak. Thank you. Sama -sama. Senang sekali. Okay. This is great. Yeah, thank you so much.
You can take a picture together. Yeah, that was great. Susie and Tim, thank you so much for coming to 3 My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was really, really great. Can I say it's not No, no, no. Oh, my goodness.